Hi, and welcome along to AFTV Transfer Daily, the show that keeps you up to date with players have been linked with a summer transfer move to Arsenal just over a week to go. Um, on the 31st of August, that is when the window will shut, um, actually dropping on a Tuesday because next weekend is a bank holiday weekend and all business has got to be done and then that's it. That's your team until, well, at least January when you can make some more transfers. So it's the critical week. And what is going to happen in that week? And very interestingly, um, Stan Kroenke and Josh Kroenke, yes, them, they do actually exist. Um, they actually were talking in the Arsenal programme for the uh, Arsenal versus Chelsea game and talking about transfers. And it, it was very interesting to see what they had to say. I've got the quotes here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read the actual quote, right? Um, they say, we know there's much work ahead to get back to where we need to be, but are confident about what we can achieve um, by this great club and our people. Um, they go on to say, we're building a, a squad rich in young talent, uh, much of it developed through our wonderful academy. It's clear, looking across Europe, that we're dealing with a very difficult transfer market due to the impacts of the pandemic. But at the same time of writing, we're delighted to have uh, signed Nuno Tavares, Sambi Laconga, and Ben White. We also renewed the deals of Kieran Tierney and Emil Smith Rowe, both on a long term basis. They're all, um, these are all young players that we are convinced can develop further and have a bright future with us. They are supported by a strong group of more experienced players, including Granite Xhaka, who has signed. Uh, extended contract. This is an important step in terms of uh, maintaining balance and stability in the squad. In the meantime, the transfer negotiating team has been working hard behind the scenes to improve the squad further. So there you hear it there from the guys themselves, the Cronkies. Um, and of course, when they wrote that, they, you know, that was would have been written before the signings, of course, that were made on Friday of Martin Odegaard and also um, our brand new goalkeeper, Aaron Ramsdale, and hinting there that they're looking to make more signings. So that is interesting. That is encouraging. Um, you know, it's <laughs> it's about time they started talking to the fans um, and letting us know what's going on. And they have been investing. That's one thing you can't say this summer, that they haven't invested um, in the squad. Have they invested enough? And also, the way in which they dropped the news on Granite Xhaka, I've been wondering, you know, he's apparently signed this deal a couple of weeks ago, and I've been thinking to myself, when are they going to announce this? What's the, you know, what are they hiding? Um, well, it's clear there, it's out now, that Granite Xhaka has signed a new deal with Arsenal. One player who's not going to be signing a new deal is Syed Kalasinac. In fact, his deal is being terminated um, by mutual consent between him and the club. And he looks set to join Fenerbahce um, on a deal that's going to net him an annual salary of about around right about 1.8 million euros a season. Um, so not a bad deal for him. Um, but best for both parties, this one. Um, this is a player that's been sort of sitting around the club for quite a while now. Hasn't really been featuring in Mikel Arteta's plans you know, the signing of Nuno Tavares showed that, you know, they we were moving on from Sai Kolasinac. Hasn't really worked out for him at all at Arsenal. And he's going to be joining his good friend, Mesut Ozil, over there in Turkey playing for Fenerbahce. What about Lucas Torreira? Um, speaking about him at literally every day, I've, of course, been telling you guys how um, he's been heavily linked with uh, moves to Italy. Uh, Fiorentina was the first sort of club to show a big interest in him. In him, um, Roma and Lazio both very, very interested in signing him. But now, Eintracht Frankfurt over there in the Bundesliga are also very interested in him as well. Still, probably likely, in my opinion, to end up in Italy. I uh, remember he was playing in Italian football before for um, Sampdoria, and I'm sure he would uh, prefer a move to Italy. But it does look like he's going to be on the move, despite the fact that he could be a player that actually Arsenal could keep if they wanted to because he's expressed um, a desire or, or did express a desire to stay at Arsenal this summer um, and to fight for his future. But Mikel Arteta said, no, 
We'd rather move you on. And it looks like he's going to go. Will it be a loan move or will it be permanent? I think he's, we're still looking more a loan move um, for Lucas Torreira. But again, another player where it just hasn't worked out for him at Arsenal. Interesting news yesterday about Manuel Locatelli. Now, it's not that we're going to get him. He's joined um, Juventus. That's official that he's joined Juventus. But it was just interesting to listen to the Sassuolo um, CEO who confirmed yesterday um, that Arsenal offered €40 million Euros to sign him. They were the team. They put the money on the table, which was, in fact, more money than what Juventus were offering. I mean, he's ended up going to Juventus in a deal that sees him go over there on, on a two-year loan deal. And then at the end, there's going to be this um, big option to buy him. Um, so that's really interesting. But, um, inter yeah, just going back to it, interesting that Arsenal were heavily in for him. Were heavily in for him, put the money down on the table. It just goes to show that Arsenal have been quite ambitious this summer. They didn't get their man. And this is one of the things I talk about sometimes in the transfer market. It's not just about you've got the money to put down. The player himself has to want to go to the club. And I think the Locatelli deal is an example of the difficulties that Arsenal have had this summer when they don't have any Champions League football. As a matter of fact, any European football, players of that calibre who's just finished playing in the Euros, for instance, not really willing to come to a club that's going to not be able to offer them any European football. It doesn't matter about the money because we offered way more money than Juventus. So, um, yeah, interesting to see that from the CEO, Sassuolo, yesterday because I think he was trying to sort of explain to his fans as well that, you know, the reason why they've taken less money um, for him, but he was determined to go to Juventus. And uh, we're still, again, today being linked with Marcos Asensio. Now, very, very talented player. Real Madrid, you know, talented. I mean, that's all I can say. Talented, excellent player. As a matter of fact, I thought that he would be one of the mainstays of Real Madrid. However, they are willing to sell him this summer. They are willing to sell him. They're willing to um, take him for £35 million. Um, they're willing to sell him because we know the financial problems that Real Madrid have been in and they're willing to offload players. Plus, as well, they're still on this uh, big quest to try and bring in um, Mbappe from PSG. Now, um, Spanish publication Fijares, they claim that Arsenal have made contact with the player regarding signing him. This is a really interesting one. Again, I've kind of looked on it and said, Asensio, good player, but is it what we need right now? Because he does play predominantly out wide. Um, he can play more centrally, but he's an attacking um, midfielder. And I just look on it and I say, we've got all the guards. He's coming now. We've got, you know, Smith Rowe signed onto a new contract. I know we've let, you know, say Willett go, for instance. Sabias has gone, so we're a little bit thin in that area, I suppose you could say, but I don't know. I just don't see it. I could be wrong because, you know, when you think about it, Willian's going to be a player that's going to be on the way out as well. And he's a player that can play out wide. Could we move him for Asensio? Would it make um, good business to try and get him? I would still like to probably more go for more sort of deep line midfielder. But I say one thing, Asensio is a very exciting player. And if we got him, I wouldn't be against it. But what do you guys think? What do you guys think we need right now? I mean, listen, we still need a right back. And Hector Bellerin looks definitely set to be one of those players that's going to leave. I, I think players for me that are definitely going to leave this summer, Willian, we know Kolasinac is going, Torreira and Bellerin. I think those four, you know, you still got, I think Ainsley Maitland-Niles is one that could go out on loan as well, and possibly Eddie. But those four, for me, are definitely going to go. And it, and I guess if you if you say Ainsley Maitland-Niles go, does that start leaving us a bit thin on the ground, even with the midfielders that we've got, and even with the fact that we're not in Europe? So the Asensio one, interesting. Have Arsenal made contact? 
We'll find out. I do feel that before now and the end of the window, you still could see a big name come in. I think, you know, I've I've been saying this all summer. It's a weird market. Mikel Arteta has been saying it. All the managers have been saying it. And I feel that there's going to be a bit of a mad rush around as we get down to the last few days of the window. And certain players that wouldn't ordinarily be available are going to become available. And you could see a surprise signing before the end of the transfer window. But it's going to be interesting. It's going to be almost like a bit of a lottery. One of those things, ones where something just comes out of the blue. So let's wait and see how that develops out. Listen, thanks for watching the show today. Um, don't forget, um, I'll be back in the morning. We've only got a few days left. Well, it seems like a few days left after all summer. But on the 31st of August, it shuts. And this is a big week for Arsenal. Who goes out? Will anybody else come in? We'll find out here on Transfer Daily. Thanks for watching. And by the way, just before I go, want to big up everybody who follows us on Facebook. We just hit a million followers on Facebook. Thank you very much for that. Um, you know, we're always flattered here on AFTV with the, the amount of followers we've got. It's absolutely amazing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.